Good morning and happy Wednesday. Welcome to this vlog. I'm going to do a little data analyst day in my life today. As you can see, Bentley is just getting settled in the back here. But um, last time I did a data analyst day in the life, it did really well. So it seems like a lot of people want to know what it's like to be a data analyst. So Today, I'm gonna just film um, what my day looks like. Um, I can't film during work or like during actual working hours, obviously. I work with really sensitive data, so I can't like show any actual like work, um, but I will talk about it and walk you through the motions of my day, what a typical day looks like, etc. So it is 8 a.m. now. Um, we are going to start the day going to Trader Joe's and Target because we need a couple of things. And then we'll come back. First stop, Trader Joe's. I need caramelized onion dip and bread. And I think that is it. Hopefully I spend under $10. <laughs> I did not say under $10, but I did stay under $20. I just got a thing of the demi-baked facel bread and a three cheese blend, a thing of turkey to add to Bentley's food when he's being stubborn, and butternut squash ravioli, which I can't believe they still have. Oh, also the caramelized onion dip. The whole reason I came here, um, but that's it from Trader Joe's. I just got to Target, but as I made it here, this song came on. Cloud Nine by Beach Bunny. I know it's a big like TikTok trend, but I think the song is so good and I listen to it constantly. I literally have 15 minutes to go in, get everything I need, get Starbucks and get out. So hopefully we can do this quickly today. I need body wash for Scott and um, some petite acolier like biscuit cracker cookie things because I've been craving them for a while. Okay, so I just got home. That whole excursion just took much longer than it needed to because for some reason between Target and Starbucks, every road had some kind of closure for construction or an accident or whatever that required a detour. So I'm here. I have my Starbucks obviously, but it's time to go upstairs for work. All I managed to get at Target was this body wash for Scott. Yeah, let's go work. Okay, so before I start working for the day, it's, I still have a couple of minutes before I need to sign in. Um, I just wanted to talk briefly about I, if you're new here, who I am, what I do, etc. So I am, my technical title is Research Associate in Data and Policy Analysis. Um, so I do a little bit of policy research, a little bit of legislative work, and mostly I deal with data. So any ad hoc data requests that go out from the state government um, that my organization needs to deal with. I do anything that people in my like personal organization are needing, I find for them. And then um, I do a lot of like the routine data like maintenance work. So today I have a meeting with my boss at 10 a.m. Um, just to do like some catch up stuff. We're talking about um, a scholarship like grant that we deal with and how data is collected for that and um, potentially what we can do in the future for it and then um, I'm also taking right now like a database management class um, so I'm taking intro to SQL at the moment or SQL um, which is just like a, a query I mean, it's a structured query language. That's literally what it's called um, to help you develop and maintain databases. Um, so I need to do some work for that today, probably on my lunch break. And I am also working on um, just compiling data that we need for other things that we need to determine. So I'll probably take the time today to do a lot of research for that. My job looks different every day, um, mostly because, like I said, I deal with a lot of ad hoc requests, so it just depends on what people need. Um, it also depends a lot on what's happening in the state government, what's happening in the federal government, 
So when the federal government started talking about free community college, I was one of the first like 25 data analysts or whatever to start looking at what that would actually look like in a state. So it's cool to be on like the front line of things. Um, I really enjoy it. I've been really passionate about education policy since I was like 13 or 14 going to like state conferences um, to talk to legislators about what was going on at the high school level and what I thought needed to be improved. So <clears throat> I've been doing this forever. I love it. I'm so passionate about it. And yeah, today we're just doing some basic work. So it is 8.59 now. It's time to sign in and I will talk to you on my lunch. All right. It's like noon now. I'm about to take my lunch. Um, I had my meeting with my boss this morning. It went really well. I showed her this like document I've been putting together and she said it looked really good. Um, and then we just talked about some things that are going on. The lighting is so weird. Okay, that's better. Um, so I showed her this document that I've been working on. She said it looked really good. And then we just talked about some projects that we have going on. So before I go eat my lunch, I wanted to show you my like screen setup because I think I finally actually like got this to be exactly what I need it to be. Um, so Monday, today is Wednesday. Monday was eight months that I've been in my position. So it's taken me this long to get my work from home set up good to go. Um, my desk is a little bit of a mess, but that's real life. Don't mind that. Let me show you my screen setup. So obviously they're not on because I'm not working and also I'm not showing you my screen, but I have my work laptop, which I actually have two. I have that one and I have this Dell one. So my Mac is what I primarily use. And then I have that hooked up to this switch and into this monitor. Um, so I can look at a file on this screen and work on Excel on this screen, vice versa, when I need to. And then this Dell computer I use for Dell specific or like Windows specific projects. I have one project that I specifically need to use like Access and um, like Microsoft Access, SQL, etc. for. And I obviously can't do that on my Mac. Same thing with Power BI, it doesn't work with iOS. Totally fine, but if you're a data analyst and your company asks you what kind of computer you want, um, a Mac may not be the best choice. I'm not gonna try to pretend to recommend a computer, but <laughs> there are a lot of things that you just, you simply can't do on a Mac that you can do on Windows that you need for data. Now that's not to say that you can't download like Parallels or Bootcamp. I have Parallels on my Big Mac, um, like my desktop iMac that I use. And when I'm working, I do use that computer too. Sometimes I'll have like an email up on one screen, a document on another, an Excel sheet on another. It, it's a lot all at once. Um, so on top of these, I also <laughs> have another computer upstairs in my like craft area. Um, so we're gonna go up there for a second. Okay, so this is my craft area. If you haven't watched any of my videos lately, I am opening an Etsy shop on March 1st, which is super exciting. And this is my like space to work in. So up here, I have another Windows computer. This I use primarily for PE design, which is the embroidery app um, to design things for the embroidery machine. And then I've also been doing a lot of my like SQL classes up here. So my personal laptop is down there. Um, as well as the iPad. So when I need to draw designs to go on here, I use the iPad and a Logitech crayon. Um, and then again, the big computer is for the things I need Windows for and then my personal laptop to take notes. Does anybody in their right mind need five computers? No. And I guess technically six when you count the iPad. Um, but do I use each of these computers for different things? And does that allow me to come to compartmentalize in my head um, and keep me a little more organized? Yes. So again, not if you're a data analyst, I'm not telling you you need five computers, um, but it is nice to have multiple screens and different things in different places to keep my brain personally organized. So 
right now um, I am going to sign in to my course um, and do the lesson that I need to do for today um, and then we'll eat some lunch. For lunch today I'm just having this half of a chicken parm with vodka sauce wrap um, from lunch that we got yesterday, the rest of my Starbucks, and then when I finish this, I'm going to go back upstairs um, and work on my SQL stuff, but I am going to have these cucumbers with the caramelized onion dip that I got at Trader Joe's this morning. My activity that I have to do for class today is just downloading SQL and setting up a practice database, so I am going to get going on this, and I... I'm gonna go back to work when it's done. It's 5.25, I'm headed to ShopRite because I still want those cookies so bad. I've been craving them for weeks. So hopefully ShopRite has them. Um, I'm also like trying to take product photos of car decal, but my car's wet, so the vinyl's like not sticking. So hopefully I'm gonna take care of that when I get home before it's dark out because I need to take those pictures, but for now, let's go to shop right. I had given up hope and grabbed these chips ahoy with Reese's that I can put them back because I found them. I set a goal for myself this week to read 71 pages a day so I can get through the current book I'm reading by Friday. Um, so I'm currently reading Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. Um, my review so far is that it's very similar to the After series. Um, in the beginning, I thought that Harden from After was more likable, but I'm starting to change my mind. We'll see. Um, so Scott should be home in the next like 20 minutes, and I already read 54 pages today, so I'm probably just going to sit down, finish the reading that I wanted to get done today, and finish eating these. It is 1.45, I'm in the car again, about to hit the road. I'm going into the field today. My battery just started flashing, so I don't think I'm really gonna be able to film while I'm gone. But I am going to one of the colleges that I work with to go pick some stuff up and bring it to my office. Um, I really wanna get Starbucks, but it's an hour and a half drive and I really don't wanna have to stop and use the bathroom on the way. So I'm settling for this tiny can of Arnold Palmer. I am going to turn on some music and get going. So this field trip, if you will, um, is a part of a big like project I do for my job. Probably one of like, I don't know, one of the top like five like things that I do um, is maintain this book of data. Um, and right now I'm actually working on redesigning it, but we put it together every year um, and then send it to one of the colleges to like print and bind and make it like pretty and perfect for us. So I was just going to pick those up. Um, I'm completely redesigning this book right now. It's going to look way different next year. I'm so excited to see those. Um, but yes, that's what I was doing. So I'm going to drop these off in my office so everybody that I work with can have a copy and then I'm gonna go home and send some more emails and finish the things that I need to do today. That is going to be it for this Data Analyst Days in My Life video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.